Well, welcome to another fabulous flipped uh, math lesson for Mr. Moore and Mr. Rock and Science math class. Today, what we're going to be talking about is the area of a triangle. And uh, our objective, or what we want you to know at the end here, is you're going to know the formula to determine the area of a triangle, and then you're going to be able to actually use that formula and find some areas of a triangle. But first, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about rectangles and squares and area. So, how did we find the area of a rectangle or a square? Well, we did length times width. And so if we look at this square down here, if we wanted to find its area, we would do 3 times 3, which would give us an area of 9 centimeters squared. Or this rectangle to the right, 12 times 5, gives us 60, so the area is 60 inches squared. Well, a triangle is very similar to that. I mean, if we look at these shapes right here, if I were to cut this shape in half, I've got two triangles. Or if I were to cut this shape in half, I have two triangles. So what we're going to do in order to find the area of a triangle, we're going to treat that triangle almost like it's a square or a rectangle to start. Because a triangle is really just half of a rectangle or a square. And so when we go to actually figure out what we're doing, to find the area of a triangle, we first pretend like we're finding the area of a rectangle or a square. And we're just going to do length times height. Once we have that number, then we divide it by 2. And that brings us back to just having the triangle. So another way to look at it is the width or the height, which is the same thing, times the length or the base, gives us the area of this uh, triangle once we divide it by 2. So to get a little more specific, the formula itself is 1 half times base times height. Because that 1 half is we're dividing that rectangle or that square in half. Another way to say it is base times height divided by 2. Well, are those things different? No, they mean the exact same thing. So remember, multiplying by a fraction is finding out how much of another number you have. It's the same as dividing by the denominator. And so our formula can sometimes be 1 half times base times height, or sometimes it'll look like base times height divided by 2. They are the same thing. Whichever one resonates more with you is the one to go with. But an important skill to look at is finding out, well, which side is the base and which side side is the height, because that's going to really affect what your number is. That's going to determine if you find it correct or not. Well, for some shapes, it's really easy. I know this blue one over here, that's going to be the base. It's the bottom part. It's nice and easy, easy and even. Sorry. And this one's going to be the height. We know that really easy. So if we had numbers here, we could do the base times the height, and then we get that, and we're going to divide it by 2, and we have the area of our triangle here. It's all really easy. But a couple things that are very important to remember. Our height has to be at the right angle, at a right angle to our base. If it's not, then it doesn't work. That's why we can't use this side over here for either the base or the height. There's no right angle over here, and there's no right angle over here. So those aren't going to be our base or our height. We need that. Well, let's look at this shape over here. A lot of the time, the longest shape is, or the longest side is going to be our base. Well, that would make this part right here the base on this shape. Well, I don't have any right angles. So how am I going to find a right angle that, that takes me to find out what my height is? Well, we're going to draw our right angle in in this case, and we would have to measure. So I'm going to end up drawing a line that makes a right angle here. I can't have a line that's angled. I can't just do a line anywhere. I have to have a line that goes from the base up to the very top of a side, and it has to be at a right angle. If you notice right here, between the base and this height is a right angle. So I know I'm OK here. If I were to take this same height and move it over just a little bit, you'll notice the entire height is different. So it's also important that you draw that line to the top part or to the longest uh, spot that you can. If I look at this orange shape, well, which one's the base? Well, the base is easy. It's right there. It's not one of the longer sides, but I can do it right here and, and be really easy. Well, where's the height? I don't have a height here. So again, I'm going to draw in from the top down. I have a nice right angle right here, and I know, okay, I know this would be my height line right there. And so if I knew the, the length of this base and the length of this height, I can multiply them times one another, divide it by two, and I get it. Another easy one right here. Well, there's my base. Boom. 
there's my height. So some are easier, some are harder. You know, we also could over here, I could make this my base. Let me get rid of these lines. I could make this my base, and now I could make my height outside here. And that would still work. Boom, there's my height. So I, I have the height, I have the base, I can multiply those, divide by two, and I'd be fine. So what does that mean? Well, we have two steps. First, multiply the base times the height, just like a rectangle, just like a square, just like a parallelogram. But then we divide by two, because a triangle is really half of one of those shapes. So let's look at some examples. Four times seven. Well, if I did four times seven, I get 28. But then I divide by two, I get 14. If I look at another example over here, I have 8 times 6. You can see where the height is here, 8 times 6. Well, what is 8 times 6? 8 times 6 is 48. But then we divide by 2 and we get 24 centimeters squared. Um, another shape, 2 times 3, or 2 times 13, what would that be? If you said 26, you were correct. Well, what's half of 26? Or what's 26 divided by 2? Oh, it's 13 again. So thir 13 centimeters squared. Over here, you can see we have our base here, and our height is going along this way. Well, we also have 20, 20. Which one's the base? Which one's going to be the height? Well, 3 times 17 is going to end up giving us 51. 51 divided by 2, ooh, 25.5 or 25 and 5 tenths centimeters squared. And that and so on. So important to remember as we wrap up, to find the area of a triangle, you do base times height, and then we divide by 2 or we take half of it. it, means the same thing. Hope you enjoyed this, hope you get it, and hope you do a great job practicing.